Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. I hope that you're all having a wonderful Monday thus far. And so in this video, we will be talking about what is currently happening across the North Atlantic Basin, as well as what is expected, because there is uh, some agreement among the models in terms of something possibly developing as they're going to be progressing into the end of the month and into the early part of November in the Caribbean. And so we will be taking a look at the various model forecasts, as well as uh, what is currently happening out there. And so before I go into details, please to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics and to share support for the channel you can leave a like on this video all right, so let's go ahead and return to infrared satellites and we're seeing that uh, there there is some activity going on. There is that dissipating frontal system. We have uh, Invest 94L that is uh, making its way towards the west. We have all that activity to the south and southeast of it. And we also have two tropical waves. One is uh, in the Caribbean and another is out in the Atlantic propagating towards the west. And so as we take a closer look at Invest 94 here we have the system and we're seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity being associated with it and uh, to the west of it is the island of Bermuda so it is likely that this is going to be enhancing the precipitation within the region and uh, as I speak about that, uh, the formation chance for this system is at 10%. So it is unlikely that we're going to be seeing development. And looking here at the five-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center, we have two areas highlighted. We'll get to that second one or most recent one very shortly. But uh, here we're seeing that 94L is expected to continue towards the west and then make that curve up to the northwest and uh, likely probably going to be uh, curving away from the U.S. But uh, development isn't expected due to unfavorable upper level winds as well as those cooler waters and so as for that area that is highlighted now so that is uh, where we could possibly see some development uh, when a surface trough is going to be forming within the region and so that could possibly happen over the next several days and some models were showing something developing out there the GFS was one of them and uh, here we have this area being highlighted now but we still don't see anything for the Caribbean at least not yet because there is some consistency as I said earlier in agreement in terms of the models expecting something developing in the Caribbean they might have different paths and different intensities but the agreement is that we could possibly have something within the region but of course uh, in terms of intensity and track none of that will be sure not this point in time because we're talking about something that is likely over a week out from now and so that is a pretty long time and there can be many any changes between now and then. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the various models are expecting and we're going to be starting out with the GFS. And so this is a map showing the ice bars. Of course, the ice bars are the black lines and they are lines of equal pressure. And when we see them in a circular manner with the pressure below 1013 millibars, that indicates a low pressure uh, system and it could be a tropical cyclone and so that's what we're looking for in this map and you might be eyeing that system right there thinking that it is a low pressure area it is a tropical cyclone then you are absolutely correct so this is what the GFS is forecasting as we're going to be heading into the end of this week on Friday the 28th. And uh, here we see that it is not a very strong system. A pressure of 1,002 millibars is a tropical storm or maybe a subtropical storm. And then as we take a look at the... Uh, just off the Windward Islands, there we are seeing some activity as well. We have all that moisture. And then headed to Sunday, uh, the 30th of the month, the second to final day of the month, here we are seeing that we have the system drifting over towards the uh, into the southeastern Caribbean. And we see it getting organized because uh, we're, see we're starting to see more of those isobars coming together. And uh, we have that 1,002 millibar low pressure uh, center and then as we head to Wednesday the 2nd of November GFS is being quite bullish on this system here for some time now but uh, the model is showing that we're going to be having a hurricane at this point uh, not saying it is impossible by the way because it isn't however uh, we're talking about something that is so far out so there 
uh, it's likely that this is not going to be the most accurate. But uh, here we're seeing a pressure of 969 millibars just to the south of Hispaniola. And then headed to Saturday of next week, here we have the system just off Cuba, north of Jamaica here as per GFS, and eventually making its way out uh, when that cold front makes its way down from the U.S. And so this is quite interesting here. And then as for the simulated satellite, so this is what the satellite could potentially look like as we're going to be heading into the next several days and of course this is for the GFS and so we are seeing that eventually we have that system developing out in the Atlantic and we see it looking a bit more on the subtropical side however as we take a look in the vicinity of the Windward Islands there we are seeing uh, something trying to get itself together likely that expected storm and so uh, there are many possibilities on the table and this doesn't necessarily have to be the outcome and so if you're in the Windward Islands and you might be getting a little bit uncomfortable because of this possibility I will be keeping you guys updated and remember that what we're seeing now doesn't necessarily has to be the outcome but let's take a look at what the other models are expecting so here we have the uh, euro so this is a map of humidity and we have the teals that indicate more moisture meanwhile the browns indicate drier stable conditions and so as we take a look at this we're seeing here that here we have the euro showing all that moisture associated with that possible system developing not showing anything as strong as the gfs and as for the caribbean we're seeing all that increased moisture but we aren't really seeing the isobars coming together at this point however we are seeing that low pressure area uh, headed towards Nicaragua and uh, uh, not seeing anything organized with it but that could be hints of something but that is just the operational model what about the ensemble tracks so looking at the euro ensemble tracks now here we are seeing uh, that various members now starting to pop up for that possible Caribbean system. However, only a few are expecting that we might see some development of this and it's not a whole lot of members that are currently available. So only time will tell. And again, if we're going to be having more of that probability of us seeing development, we're going to be having more members showing that possibly happening and the NHC will likely highlight an area within the vicinity of the Caribbean. The next model is the Icon. So Icon is showing that as we're going to be heading into uh further into this week going to wednesday thursday there we have that low pressure area in association with the uh surface trough that would possibly develop that the nhc has nearly highlighted so uh that is one thing that we're seeing a bit of consistency with as well but as for the caribbean icon isn't showing much at least up to the point of when this model run ends so only time will tell guys what is really going to be happening and this is just quite interesting but of course development is all going to be dependent on the favorability of conditions in terms of the ocean temperatures and uh, we're seeing on this map here that sea surface temperatures are definitely conducive for us to see development 29 30 celsius in the vicinity of the caribbean but we also need conducive wind shear as well as all that moisture and all that moisture is likely to be there but other conditions have to also be favorable and so the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Lisa. So let's see if it's that newly highlighted area where we could see some development. Will it brew Lisa or maybe it is going to be uh, brewed in the vicinity of the Caribbean. But that is really it for now, guys. And I will continue to reiterate the fact that this is... Uh, what we're seeing are just forecasts and they don't necessarily have to be the actual outcome but of course i'm going to be keeping you guys updated as time goes by of course i make my daily update videos so that you'll never miss what is going on in the tropics and so that is really it for now and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise